Welcome back to our lessons on Domain 1 in CISSP. In this lesson, we're going to look at risk. One of the components that are required for risk to occur is the notion of vulnerability. So a vulnerability is a weakness in a system or a process. When you hear the term vulnerability, you think of weakness. If there is a vulnerability, it implies the absence of a countermeasure. A countermeasure is the control that we put in place to help mitigate that risk. As we can identify vulnerabilities, we'll implement countermeasures to eliminate or mitigate the weakness. So if we have a vulnerability, that says that there's perhaps a missing countermeasure. After I put the countermeasure in place, the vulnerability may not exist anymore. Most of the time, vulnerabilities are something that are internal to that particular information asset. But because they are something that we own, we can identify, and we are in complete control of, we have more control over the management of those vulnerabilities. The next component of risk is the threat. Now, the threat is the possibility that a bad guy or a bad thing might exploit a vulnerability. If that exploit is successful, the enterprise, the owner of the asset, will experience a loss. I'll have internal threats, and there are external threats. An internal threat is some threat that's inside my enterprise, something we might consider within the trusted boundary, if you will. While it's inside, we have perhaps a little bit of control, but let's take the example of an employee who actually got his job only so that he could steal something out of the warehouse. He's an internal entity, but because he has malicious intent, he still isn't terribly controllable. Of course, I'll have security controls or countermeasures in place to defend against this possibility that this worker who I trust is actually malicious in nature and is trying to do me harm. I'll have controls to detect him, to prevent the loss, etc. But if the bad guy really is on the inside and wants to do bad things, I still can't control him very well. He still has a fair amount of insider access and therefore, he's still very threatening to me. But the internal threat is more controllable than the external threat. The external threat is something outside your trusted enterprise. External threats are much less controllable than internal threats. Threats overall are much less controllable than vulnerabilities. Now, the next term we have here is the threat agent. The threat agent is that active ingredient that will actually perform the exploit causing losses. And our job as a security professional is to avoid those losses, either avoid them completely or minimize them if and when they do happen. Let's take a threat of a tornado, for example. A tornado, of course, is a storm that's going to damage your facility. The threat agent of a tornado is the wind and the physical components that that wind might be carrying at 100 plus miles an hour that strike your building and cause that damage. So the threat agent in this case would be the wind and other airborne objects. Those are what are going to cause the loss. When a vulnerability meets a related threat, suddenly we have produced this element of risk. Risk is the potential losses that we might incur if this threat actually impacts the vulnerability. We quantify risk by looking at the likelihood of this bad thing happening, and if this bad thing happens, how much is it going to hurt? That's the impact. So risk is produced when vulnerability meets related threat. How much risk do we have? Well, it's quantified by how likely is it that this bad thing is going to happen, and if it does happen, how much will it hurt? Now, if I have a vulnerability, but there's no related threat, then there's no risk. And if there's a threat, but I don't have a vulnerability to that threat, then there is no risk. We'll be looking at those a lot more throughout this entire course. Another term we need to understand related to risk is the exposure. The exposure of an enterprise is essentially its attack surface. Where could the exploit occur and introduce this loss? So our goal is to reduce the exposure of the enterprise. That's our job as a security professional. 
to reduce that attack surface to as small a surface as possible and as small a surface as is cost justified. Our goal overall is to reduce the exposure of the enterprise.